for thousands of years, we are battling with a wild, crazy, dangerous, evil inclination, angel of death that is standing strong and powerful to block us from eternal life, to hold us back from our spiritual eternal redemption putting all his mind, all his power, all his life experience to destroy our hope, to break our desire for truth, to shake our stability, to take away the drops of faith that stayed with us along the years to make us all lose our hope, our passion for life. Now, isn't it the most obvious and simple thing in the world that the final battle will be the hardest? Isn't it the most predicted thing in the world that he will try to hide the redemption one moment before it will take place to put coverings, to plaster it, to hide it, to build curtains, walls of separation, just for us not to realize how close we are for it, to it, because the redemption is like the promised land. It has been promised to us by God. The redemption, the Messiah, the salvation, the third temple, the glory of Hashem, of the creator of the universe to be seen, that the house of prayer that will be called the house of prayer to all nations, for it to stand up strong and open open wide for 70 nations to come and all to bow to God and to admit the God of truth, to accept on ourselves the true kingship of heaven. Those are things that will take place because Hashem said that they will, so they will. It's not like the devil can steal it away from us. He cannot prevent it. He cannot take it. He cannot cancel the redemption. There is no way for the redemption not to take place. The only thing is that he's trying to destroy as much as he can while he can. Therefore, he's trying to hide and block our eyes from seeing the light of it. And when is the darkest hour? Before of dawn. One moment before sunrise is the darkest hour of the night. And this is why our days are so dark and so heavy and so thick and so complex. And we're all experiencing such, such troubles and challenges and difficulties and mental things and horrible sadnesses and depressions and up and downs and lack of stability and losing our hope and one day up and one day crashing down to rock bottom and under and losing our minds and losing our hopes and finding ourselves trying to try again and losing it. Earlier generations, even though that they faced difficulties and challenges and they suffered from poverty and they suffered from plagues and illnesses and weaknesses and, and horrible weather and who knows what, they did not go through that crazy roller coaster that we are going through on daily basis. Our spirits are tired. Our souls are destroyed. Our emotional bodies are crashed. We all went through crazy traumas in our lives. We all went through crazy pain. We're carrying scars and ancient memories from previous wars that we 
we never learned how to deal with, problems that we never were able to solve, traumas from young ages and from different and, and premier lifetimes, things that we're going through in these days, experiencing all the emotions, all the fears, all the anger, all the rage, all the frustration, all the darkness and, and, and bitterness of, of, of lifetimes, all in one body, all in one day, all in one hour, all in one relationship, all in one house, all in one meal, in one teaspoon. It's not easy to deal with that, but we must remind ourselves that that's the final final attack of the evil inclination on our generation. He's trying to make us believe that there is no hope, that there will be no, God forbid, redemption, that there will be no success to the righteous ones. I'm reminding you, the righteous ones are us. The pure in their hearts are us. The honest ones that are hoping for Hashem are us. The ones who are remembering Zion are us. The ones who are praying to God, they are us. It's us. All the story of the righteous and the heroes and the honest and the poor and the broken hearted, it's us. It's about us. It's not about them and we're the wicked ones. No, we're not wicked. We are pure souls with pure spirits, with pure feelings, with pure hearts, broken hearts scarred and, and, and wounded and hurt, but pure. Holy and wonderful and beautiful and godly and precious and great and fine. So hold yourself together and don't back off and don't give up and don't let no distraction take your thoughts away from simple, straight and dedicated mindset to the purpose of knowing your true self and through that knowing your Creator, your Maker. You are the one who made you and the, the one who made you, made you completely one with Him, with Him and with His wisdom. The Holy Bible, the Holy Oral Torah, is shining through your soul. Therefore, you have passion to learn. Therefore, you have a desire to pray. Therefore, you have a passion and a dream to walk on the ground of the Holy Land, to see the sights, to smell the smells of the Promised Land, to shake the hands of your siblings, the nation of Israel. And even if you cannot recognize yourself as an Israeli person, the fact that you love Israel is because that there is an Israeli blood flowing in your bloodstream. Inside your blood, there are sparks and particles of an Israeli soul. And therefore you are so well connected to your roots, to the roots of Israel, children of Jacob, that all of them, all of us, been promised by our Father, and our Father in heaven to inherit the Holy Land, to enjoy the wealth and the prosperity that is treasured here. May you all and us all be united here as one, with one heart, one soul, shining and bright, experiencing the Redemption Day. Don't give up, don't back off. We know what we're heading. We're heading toward the complete redemption and the salvation is about to take place and to come. Don't give up. Even though the darkness is heavy, the light will be brighter than we can imagine and the salvation is soon to come. In our days, Amen. Kenya Hiratson. Thank you.